Good morning to you. Our topic for today is When God Purifies Part 2. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 37. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride is able to abase. Our Bible reading is Daniel 4, verse 23 to 37. 23. And whereas the king saw a watcher and an only one coming down from heaven and saying, Heal the tree down and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass, in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let its portion be with the beast of the field, till seven times pass over him. 24. This is the interpretation, O king, and this is the decree of the Most High, which is come upon my Lord the king, that they shall Drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wear thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till so thou know that the most high relates in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Verse 26. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree root, and thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee, after that thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule. 27. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sins by righteousness, and thy iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. 28. All this came upon the king Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of twelve months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. 30. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that are built for the house of the kingdom? by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty. 31. While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken. The kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee, until thou know that the most high relates in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. 33. The same hour was a thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men, and did eat grass as oxen, and his body was was wet with the dew of heaven till his ears were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like belt's claws. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven, and my understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that lived forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven, and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his end or say unto him, What doest thou? That's a six. At the same time, my reason returned unto me, and for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness returned unto me, and my counselors and my lords sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added unto me. Verse 37, the last verse. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride is able to obey. Praise the Lord. Follow your yesterday's study, the second kind of fire God uses to purify his children is the fire of affliction. Let us take Job, for example. When you look at Job 30 verse 1, you'll be shocked to discover that Job had that little contamination called pride. After he lost everything, he discovered that God has a way of making a fellow humble by fire. God used the fire of affliction to remove pride from his life. Some people have asked me why I am always saying yes, sir, and yes, ma'am to everybody. I wasn't like that before. I was one of the proudest persons you could ever meet, even though I was poor, but God taught me a lesson that settled the issue of pride in my life forever. When I got born again, one of the greatest blessings I received from God early on was the ability to hear Him. I was also the interpreter for the general superintendent of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. One day, for whatever reason, one of the pastors came to me and asked me to interpret for him during his ministration. I felt offended. Who does this man think he is? Doesn't he know that I am the general superintendent's interpreter? I interpreted quite all right, but I was very upset. After the service, I was, as I was going to my car, I heard God say clearly, So you are not too big to interpret for my servant. 
I stopped hearing from him and everything became silent. As soon as the devil discovered that I was no longer hearing from God, it tormented me. I prayed, wept, and fasted, but God was silent all through. Believe me, honestly, it is better not to have heard from God at all than for him to stop speaking to you. God will not leave you alone in Jesus' name. Amen. The period God stopped talking to me was a terrible time for me. In desperation, I told him, Lord, I make a covenant with you. Here I am going to offend you tomorrow. Take me away today. And then he started to speak to me again. Thus, when you see me saying yes, sir, to the driver or the cleaner, it is because fire burnt pride out of me. If God is to use you one way or the other, he will have to purify you because only those pure in heart will see him on the last day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our prayer point for today says, Father, if there is any impurity in me, that I am refusing to let go easily. Please take it away by force in Jesus' name. We say that prayer. Say, Father, if there is any impurity in me, that I am refusing to let go. Please take it away by force in Jesus' name. Let's say that again. Father, if there is any impurity in me that I am refusing to let go easily, please take it away by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Our aim is what can wash away my stain in 28. What can wash away my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No wonder fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Wishing you a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Bye.